bookworms! Welcome back to my channel and to another review. Today I'll be talking about In Order to Live by Yeon Mi Park, which is an autobiography, which is not really something that I do a lot on this channel. Generally speaking, I am not very much of a non-fiction person, but I did got curious both regarding autobiographies and biographies in general, but also specifically when it comes to this book, I was curious because it's about North Korea and I know very little about this place. So I uh, I got the book, so I read it. That's usually what happens, right? As you can imagine, it's about the author's story of growing up and eventually escaping North Korea and her journey through uh, China and eventually to South Korea. And I have to say it's very strange for me reviewing an autobiography because I can talk about character development or plot twist because you know she didn't make that up it's thing that really happened but i will do my best to tell you what i liked and didn't like and why but first off i want to say that i really love the book it was very interesting it was very informative and it made me want to read more biographies so if you have any recommendation please make sure to write them down below some parts were horrifying some were heartbreaking some were just interesting but despite all the hardships the book was not a very hard book to read so if you're worried about graphic descriptions of torture and rape or something like that we do hear about those things from people who did escape north korea don't worry about it these things are present there after all she does escape from uh, one of the toughest most um vicious dictatorship that still exists and obviously as you can imagine she does go through a lot of hardships but as i said this book is not hard to read you don't really need any trigger warning or anything like that in the book so if you were worried about that don't worry So yeah, basically I thought that this book was just a very good and interesting book. That's for positives, kind of like very general positives. I do want to point out though one thing that I didn't like so much in the book, which is the structure. This is kind of general, but uh, there are some issues about the structure of the book and things that I really didn't care for. The book does jump a lot when it comes to the timeline and I didn't really care for it. It will start, for example, from Yeon Mi's childhood and she will tell something that happens to her when she was little and then she will mention her mother, for example, and then it will jump to her mother's childhood and it felt not very streamlined in a lack of a better word so i don't know i just felt like those time jumps kind of added to this slight confusion and i just didn't like the fact that it jumped all that much another thing is and it again has to do with the structure is that the book is comprised of uh, a lot of small stories obviously all of those stories has to do with yeon mi's uh, own life or maybe life of her neighbors or or family and in my personal opinion um i felt like it would have been better or more interesting to have less of those little stories but with each of them to delve a little bit more into it i think that it will give us a better understanding of life there because we'll have a fuller picture but it is just my personal opinion and actually if you've read this book tell me what you think if you agree or disagree on this point point. and as you can probably imagine for a book that is composed of parts of a human's life not all parts are equally interesting but i mean what you what can you do about it it's her life it's not like thing that she made up that's why it's so difficult or odd to judge a biography like that. So I don't know, maybe I felt that way because I'm not used to reading biographies, although as I said, the book made me want to read more. But this one is just fascinating and it also doesn't take a long time to read. It's a very fast read and I recommend this book if you like biographies, if you like to read about young people overcoming difficulties and overcoming um, very badly dealt cards and also if you are like me just interested in uh, reading about people who escaped north korea anyway it's a very very fascinating book and it's also a very important story we need to know that these things are happening who knows maybe we can actually 
change something in the future. Uh, but yeah, that was it for my review. Uh, it was a pretty short one, I know, but you know, my last review was on the Rook and that was like 30 minutes. So I suppose this balance each other. And I am kind of in awe of Yeonmi Park. She escaped when she was 13. I would never have been able to do what she have done. I mean, one of the things that amazed me was the fact that I kept reading and I kept kind of reminding myself, this is real. This is not just based on a true story. This is a girl who de did all those things. And she's telling us about what happened to her. And I don't know the thought of the fact that she was so young and did so many things and had to undergo so many horrific uh, things. I don't know, that was so shocking. That was kind of unbelievable. But yeah, anyway, I enjoy reading the book, although it was about some really horrific things. And yeah, I just, I recommend it full heartedly. And that's it for my video. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click like to show your support and to subscribe to my channel if you dare. And don't forget also to click the little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video. And of course also don't forget to write down in the comment section if you have a really cool biography that you think I have to read. And yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.